So you're thinking of buying a condo in Toronto. You have lots and lots of choices. I have compiled a list of all the condos that are within a 10 minute walk to each and every subway station on the TTC subway line. If access to easy transportation is important to you, I can help you narrow down your choices so that you can make the most informed decision. I sell condos and today I'm going to show you the top five reasons why you should consider a condo that's within a 10 minute walk to a subway station. Reason number one, save money. Although prices are higher for condos that are close to a subway station, the savings and mortgage costs are much better than the high expenses of owning a car. Some studies say the condos closest to the subway station are 10 to 20% more than otherwise. If you pay 15% more for a condo near a subway station, that might cost you 100,000 more than if the condo wasn't near a subway station. That $100,000 difference might cost you $500 per month. So instead of paying $1,350 a month to own a car, why not spend $500 a month for a better property to live in and save about $700 a month? That's after you spend $150 a month on a monthly Presto card because you still have to get around. And that $700 a month, you can invest it in something else, either a bigger and better condo or in a safe long-term investment. In the end, it'll be much better for you. What I didn't include here is that with every monthly mortgage payment you make, you're paying down the principal and therefore you're putting that money back into your pocket. So that's a bonus that I didn't include in this equation. The bottom line is you are saving every month and your savings you can put into an investment. Reason number two, save time. This one is a no brainer, especially in Toronto. With the amount of traffic, road construction, road closures, inclement weather, events all year round, we in Toronto are so worried about travel time. There's a reason why Google Maps shows us live travel time based on current traffic conditions. Years ago, rush hour was about 5 to 6 p.m. after work or 8 to 9 a.m. in the morning when people were going to work. Other than that, the roads were pretty clear. But now there's traffic all day long, even on the weekends and even into the early hours of the morning. Rush hour now is any hour. It's almost all day long, doesn't matter where you're going in Toronto. Instead of spending 30 minutes to an hour just to get halfway across the city, why not take the more consistent method? Take public transit. It's convenient and as I mentioned in reason number one, it's cheaper. But let's be realistic. The TTC subway system does have its slowdowns too, for various reasons. But for the most part, it's still quicker than being stuck in traffic. Reason number three, the local amenities. Living near a subway station would mean that you would be much more likely to be within walking distance to so many amenities. There's a reason why condo developers love building condos near subway stations and near the subway line. The condos are generally easier to sell for them and for more money. And because of the proximity to so many more services and amenities like shopping, restaurants, medical purposes, entertainment, and so much more. Small entrepreneurs all the way to international companies love to operate businesses near a subway station or the subway line. From local fast food shops to major shopping malls, being right at or close to a subway station means more business for them and more convenience for its patrons. The Yorkdale Shopping Centre, the Toronto Eaton Centre, Scarborough Town Centre and Toronto's Path System are all easily accessible by the subway line. And so are so many businesses along Young Street, University Avenue, almost the entire stretch of Bloor Street, Shepherd East and the Danforth and pretty much the whole downtown core. And soon almost the entire length of Eglinton Avenue from the west all the way to the east. Also easily accessible are York University, University of Toronto, the former Ryerson University which is now called Toronto Metropolitan University and some college campuses. Reason number four, the resale value. For all of the reasons mentioned, it's generally easier to sell your condo if it's close to the subway line. 
it's the reason why I personally suggest it to investors and people who are looking to move into a condo in Toronto. Needless to say, it's also easier to find tenants if you're investing in a condo on the subway line. And the condos on the subway line rent for more money per square foot, so they're a better investment. When the market goes up, better locations go up first and then there would be a trickle effect geographically moving away from the city center or away from the subway lines and when the market goes down the better locations are last to have an effect and those locations usually have less of a decrease as we know the real estate market in Toronto, the GTA, Canada, and even the States has taken a little bit of a hit in the past year. Some areas more than others, some types of properties more than others. The best locations and the best properties have the least amount of impact. If you take a look at my Kipling Station video, you'll see that the one bedrooms and two bedrooms sold in 2021 versus 2022 haven't had that bad an impact compared to what you might be hearing in the news. In fact, you might be surprised at some of the changes between the two years. Some have gone up considerably. That video was made and posted in November 2022. There were still two months left in the year, but even if we consider the sales of those two months, I think the numbers would still be surprising. And you can't say that for a lot of locations in Toronto and the GTA. Check out that video. You might be surprised to see some of the changes year over year. Reason number five, happiness. This one is my personal favorite because what's the point if you're not ultimately happy? People are generally happier when they live close to easy transportation for all the reasons mentioned. And there would be so many more reasons that would be personal to different people. University of Minnesota transport scholar Jason Cow did a study and found that proximity to good transportation is significantly associated with increased well-being. Research was based on questionnaires that he had people fill out that lived close to easy transportation versus people who lived further away. The participants were asked to evaluate the quality of their lives. He found that contentment with travel was leading to contentment with life. And I've noticed the same thing here. His study was not done in Toronto. It was done in a city in the States. But the same principles would apply over here. Toronto is a big city, has a subway system. It's a metropolis. The clients that I have worked with throughout the years that have bought a condo in Toronto near the subway line have all been very happy, whether they were living in the condo or they bought it for investment. From the Vaughan Metropolitan Centre station to the relatively new Shepherd East line, to Yorkdale, to the downtown core, whether it's Bay Station, Young and Bloor, Union Station, to the easterly most stations along the Danforth, at Woodbine Station, Scarborough Town Center, Pape, and so many more. They have all been happy because they are so convenient to so many amenities. Every buyer has a different reason for choosing their location, but all have been quite happy with their decisions. And all that have sold, have sold relatively quickly and for more than the average cost of a condo in Toronto. If you're in the market to buy or sell a condo near the subway line, you can contact me at my email address that's in the description, or you can call or text me at the phone number that's in the description as well. I'll guide and advise you on the best course of action for your specific needs. Whether you're considering to buy or sell in the next 10 days, 10 weeks, or 10 months, contact me so I can help you make the best decision. My name is Raj Sharma, and I've been a real estate broker for just over 25 years. I operate torontotransitcondos.com and I may already have a buyer or seller for a condo that you're either looking to buy or sell.